Namaste, welcome to Divine Energy to Rome. Divine Energy, welcome to my space. Uh, hope you all doing well. Sending you all wellness on your journey. Hope everything's working out for you over there. May this message be able to help someone out. Okay. All right. I just love these little die. So cute. I just like shaking them. Okay. So let's see. What's coming out here? What do I need to see? What do I need to see? What's coming out here, Holy Spirit? Let it be known what I need to see. You're raising your vibration. Somebody's a fucking boss, bro. Sis. You're a boss type of energy. You're a powerhouse. Somebody might have abused their power. And it's like, they abuse their power, but now you're getting the power. So guess what? The shoe's on the other foot, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Ah, yes. Some of us might have just been playing some psychological games with you. I feel like you're standing on business. We got emperor energy out here. Okay, I see financial gain. Material gain, material harvest, something about planting a firm foundation here, okay? Standing on business, somebody could be moving. Somebody tried to abuse their power and now you're the boss. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> yeah. Your favor, you're divine, and you're very aware of your energy conception. Mm, 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 mm. I'm talking, talking to somebody, talking about somebody who's in their divinity very much, okay? Whoever I'm talking to. Hold on. Dang. Hold on. Let me see what this energy is that's around you, this unfair treatment, abuse of power, whatever this is, you know. I feel like you, your personal energy, it's like you're watching your dreams unfold right before you right now at this time. Okay, yeah, this is about endurance. Okay, trickery. Somebody abused a power, they thought they was going to trick you out of transforming. Okay, but you endured. You didn't let it stop you from being in your divinity. This is why you're favoring your, your divine. Because you're aware of your energy consumption. So just because somebody does something to you, I just seen TMI and envy at the back of the deck. The fuck? Yeah, they envy you. Because just because somebody do something to you don't mean that you should always do it right back. Or keep trying to pay somebody back. You know what I'm saying? For whatever you feel like they owe you for something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's vengeance should never be revenge should never be the energy, right? Because that means you you steady putting into somebody else when you should be putting that energy into yourself. And somebody got tricked when they was abusing their power. Being unfair, whatever they were doing to you, okay? And now you're watching what you built unfold. Standing on business. You're about to be the boss over somebody already. Just in how you conducted yourself. Yeah, empowerment. Okay? Somebody got tricked out of their spot. Yeah, empowerment coming out again. Okay? Somebody's mad that they, you're in the energy of empowerment. And they've been tricked out of what they thought they were going to do. Their power. Now they're in a position feeling like, oh, somebody did me unfair. They abused their power, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's funny. Are you experiencing what you put out in the universe? Is that coming back to you? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, woman. we have a woman holding a coin in strategy. Yeah, so it could be somebody who thought they had more money, so they thought they was going to throw their money at a prop or at or something. They thought they was going to throw their money at a situation, okay? And that it was going to save them, 
No, you were supposed to be acting and behaving a certain way, and that action is what was gonna save you. Somebody thought like, oh well, I could just maybe go to a practitioner, maybe do something. It tricked them. The energy tricked them because their pride, their ego, and they failed. Whoever this woman holding the coin, they probably still paying off something. And that's why they're experiencing some sort of um, instability. Whoever this woman holding the coin, yeah, patience, community. It could be like a community of people. Definitely be like a community of people here. This could be like somebody at a job or something like that, patience. This could be like somebody who has patience. This could be like um, nursing, hospital, stuff like that type of environment. I'm talking to somebody like that in that type of environment. Hmm. Woman holding the coin. So she thought because she was a boss or a supervisor, or he thought, right? Whatever it is. Check it out. It resonates. We have our uh, third angel. We have third chakra, Archangel Chamul. So somebody is very connected to this energy of the Archangel here. Okay. And that energy is known or unknown to you. Okay. Because sometimes we have angels walking with us and we don't even know, like, well, what's your name? Because that's because you've never tested the spirit. All right, but you're somebody aware of your energy consumption. I feel like you do know your archangels, you know? Yeah, woman holding a heart, okay? Somebody could be definitely dealing with some sort of sickness or illness from trying to block something from you. What is a woman holding a coin? Yeah, you you got an archangel, Archangel Michael here, that is protecting you from this woman holding a coin. So there's somebody who has some sort of status or power, money, whatever it is. And you have this Archangel Michael that's protecting you from what they're doing unbeknownst to you. Because you don't know. You may not even know this person doing shit behind your back. Because you all tied up. And being aware of your energy consumption, making sure that you're doing the right things, not, oh, who's doing shit to me, right? All the time, right? Right. Yeah. This Archangel Michael is taking action over you on your behalf for this. I'm telling you, this woman holding a coin is hostile towards you. And there's a, a, been a major abuse of power. This person could be seeking some sort of information on you. You got Archangel Michael protecting you here. Yeah. The thinking woman. <laughs> I'm getting Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Storm warning. So like this person could have been definitely warned to stop doing something to you. Or it's not going to end well. <sighs> yeah, because you're in cornucopia. That's why I think somebody was warned and they just kept doing something here. You're being protected by this Archangel Michael here. From this unfair treatment that's, you know, this woman was doing, obviously. Duality. Karmic message and anger. Didn't I say that this freaking lady was hostile? She's hostile. She's angry. Whoever you are, you she's angry at you for something. This is a karmic person. Somebody who feels like, well, if something happened to me, then I got to get my revenge or my justice, whatever I feel like that is. This is that type of person. Not knowing that should be happening for a reason. And then you have to find a bigger reason. You know what I'm saying? You can't just react off of anger because anger... That's how people end up dead in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So, like, anger is not the, the space somebody should be operating in. We got a duality. Y'all like yin and y'all like not yin and yang, but y'all like two different type of energies. You know what I'm saying? You and this person, you and this woman that's so angry at you because you found freedom. And again, they're being warned. They are being warned to leave you the fuck alone. Okay? Archangel Michael has warned them don't give a fuck about none of their anger. Okay? Chill the fuck out on you. 
okay? Not too much on you, okay? But somebody's doing some dualities. This could be mirror, mirror magic. Somebody's trying to like destiny swamp. I was just talking about this in the other reading. But this could be somebody trying to, you know what I'm hearing? Like somebody's trying to look into somebody's like records or something like that. Medical records. Help. This person could be getting help doing so or something like that. And when they do, they're going to be sorry because somebody's going to lose their job. Message of forgiveness. Somebody's going to lose their fucking job. They don't know that they being watched. That's what it is. Education. Yeah, somebody went to school for this shit. I'm trying to tell you. Remember I just said in the medical profession, you know you, go to, you gotta go to school for half of that shit. Unless you like a, the, the people that just clean the hospital. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm fucking stuttering, but... <clears throat> Anyways, let's get some tarot messages. Yeah. I just feel like you in freedom mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody need to, like, take it easy. Like, not too much on you. Like, for real. Real shit. You got, like, Archangel Michael Sekhmet. You're a very powerful person. You know what I'm saying? Ace of Knives. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. You're a very powerful person. Like, I don't know what they was told, but it's not that. It's not that at all. You're not the one to be played with. Ace of Swords. Stand on business. What is abuse of power? Yeah, I feel like somebody could have just seen you like living your life, thriving, doing what you need to do, nine of cups. Finding your own wish fulfillment. And somebody just, like, tried to, like, abuse a power and just, like, go find you, look you up, like, just start meddling in your fucking business. Like, because this person, again, is obsessed because something happened with them, you and this person, and now they're obsessed after that one incident or whatever the fuck it was. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Well, yeah, Will of Fortune and Empress in reverse. This person is losing, I'm telling you, the inference in reverse, this person is losing money, sleep, all kind of things, like, because they're not aware of their energy consumption, like, you, you're too worried about the wrong things, you see what I'm saying? And it's causing them to lose on the back end, that's because the Archangels is working for you. The Archangel Michael, Archangel Chamu, so you got segment energy right here, yeah, heavy. What is standing on business, psychological? Excuse me. Wow, yeah, then you got the Nine of Cups. Oh, this is the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you... Same shit. You're just standing on business. Like, you're just minding your business. <laughs> Somebody just was abusing their power. And they wasn't aware that when they did this bullshit to you, this abuse of power, that they were going to have to pay some sort of consequence for that shit. And now they are. <laughs> what is the word of your energy consumption? Your favor, divine. Yeah, ace of feathers. So somebody could definitely be trying to stop like a connection. So maybe someone knows that like a connection or something like good things are happening for you. And someone wants to stop that. I feel like with the ace of feathers, because that's the ace of wands. That's like something new. Someone's trying to block that. Because <clears throat> they were talking about duality too with the uh, karmic messages. Hold on. What is the ace of feathers? Yeah, despair. I can't make it up. Somebody wants you to not have your new beginning. Ace of fucking uh, wands. They trying to block that shit from you. Bottom of the deck. Thief. Let's keep going. <laughs> Empowerment. <laughs> Empowerment. Look at this, the magician. <laughs> ah, this is what I be talking about. They don't even be knowing what they be fucking with. Like, people should just like take a step back when it comes to you. Like, think first.
because it's not going to end well. Someone feels like you did something and you got away with it, but you didn't. They don't know that like, you had to deal with your share of karma because karma comes for everybody. I don't give a fuck how, whatever you think you are. And someone's trying to be the fucking judge juror over karma in your life. Like, who the fuck is you? Who? Oh, okay. That's right. Nobody. Right. Get your ass on. Signs I could be talking to. Leo. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Damn. Okay, Sagittarius. Cancer. Libra. Sag. Hmm. I don't know. Aquarius. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, back to fucking Leo. There's no more cards to clarify here on the board. Just, okay. They're a thief. Someone's spying, stealing shit, trying to just do weird ass shit like stalker shit obsessed with your fucking energy whatever it is that chance encounter that they had with you because you was meant to learn some sort of karmic lesson they thought like they 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 got obsessed with your energy that's what it is because you empowered yourself like through something but see you connected to the divine so of course you was gonna walk through something victoriously you know what i'm saying and be able to empower other people so what, they mad because you doing that? Like, keep doing your big one. Like, whoever you is. Keep empowering yourself. Keep empowering other people. Keep rising. Keep ascending. They mad you in your divinity. They wanted you to be woe is me. I love you. See you in the next one. Peace.